to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a different one for me. It is obviously a vlog, as you can probably tell from where I'm starting off this vlog for today. But yeah, basically tonight, I say tonight because it's literally, it's nearly four o'clock right now. So I'm starting it quite late in the afternoon, I'm not going to lie, but it is basically, it's about 20 to four right now. So I mean, starting it a little bit late than I normally would if I'm honest with you. But yeah, today is a very, very exciting. I'm actually so, so excited about this. But I'm actually off to the O2 Arena to go and see Nicki Minaj, which, oh my god, Nicki Minaj. I mean, I've never actually seen Nicki Minaj live before, I mean, but I've heard that she's going to be really, really good. So, I mean, hopefully it's going to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, me and my cousin are going to O2 tonight. We're going to go and grab something to eat before we go in. And I thought I might as well bring you along with me. And that this vlog is probably going to be quite rememorable for me. Memorable is even a word, probably. Probably is. I mean, hope it is anyway, because I've just said it now. But yeah, so basically I'm off to see Nicki Minaj tonight. We're actually going in a box in the OT, which is actually is so, so exciting. I'm not being like, oh, I'm going in a box. Oh my God, like bougie or whatever. But literally, this is the first time that I've ever been in a box inside the OT. And oh my God, I'm literally so excited for it. I mean, opportunity arose to anyone to go into a box in the OT. I mean, I'm sure everyone would take it. But yeah, so literally, if you can't already tell, I am super, super excited about it. So yeah, like I said, I've never been inside a box in the O2 before and I've never seen Nicki Minaj, so I mean, I'm actually going in a box in the O2 and I am going to go and see Nicki Minaj for the first time, but yeah, I am going to go and grab some TGIs beforehand with my cousin, I'm like, I can't remember if I said that or not, I probably did. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring her along with me, so I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing and then let's get straight into the video. I mean, to just start off with, I just kind of like curled the ends of my hair with my GHDs. Literally, I'm loving my GHDs lately and I mean, look how pale my hand is against my face. I mean, I definitely should put some more fake tan on my hand. And probably the arm as well because the arm's looking quite hard. But I mean, oh well, let's just go with it now. But the thing is, fake tan, it always just like seems to go really, really orange on my hands. So I try and like avoid my hands or not really put that much on my hands at all. But I mean, clearly it's all rubbed off right now. But, but yeah, and then I've just literally got this Topshop blouse on. It's just a black one. Really, really cute. Got puffy like sleeves. And I just absolutely love this blouse. I mean, it probably could do with an iron, but I mean, once I'm like sat down and stood up I mean I'm sure it like hang out a bit a little bit more and I'm putting a coat on anyway because I mean it is absolutely freezing outside still and when we leave tonight it's probably going to be quite chilly as well so I am actually taking a coat with me I'm just going to take my black faux fur one and then to pair with it obviously my mum's got a new plant there I mean every single time I seem to like do one of these like outfits my mum's got like a new plant there but today she's just got some leaves so there was probably some flowers on it but they've probably fallen off but I mean I'm not entirely sure what it was on it if I'm honest with you but yeah and then just to pair with it I've just put some wreaths um I think they're called like shine they're not shine they're basically like faux leather um shine jeans but yeah they're literally just from reese really really comfy so these are the kind of ankle boots that i've put on for this evening they are the ones from reese they're not really that high at all and they are super super comfortable they look really really black against my um reese jeans but i mean i think it's just because they're suede because they're not that different color in person i know on the camera they look quite different colors but I mean, they don't really look that bad in person, really. That's literally all I'm wearing today, so come to the O2. Oh, 
so I don't really know how much of this you can hear because it's quite loud. But I think it was called Ray, Ray Black. Black. Ray Black's that girl that you just saw. I don't really know how many clips I just got of her. But that's the girl that basically was just like performing. But I think it's Juicy World or something we think next, aren't we? <laughs> Juicy World. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what's going on right now. But apparently it's Juicy World next and then hopefully Nicki Minaj after that. So that's just basically what's happening and they'll probably be the next people that you actually see after this clip. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly update you all what's going on, really. Yeah, we just quickly went for a wee break, but we're back now. So yeah, that's basically all that we're doing. So, Juzo has literally just played, which is, he was actually really good, as you probably saw. But I'm going to quickly show you around the suite when I don't really know how much you can hear, as obviously it's quite loud, but I'll quickly show you what the suite looks like. So, this is literally what it looks like. There's like a little bar with like a little seating area. And then that is where all the seats are, just right there. But he's really, really cool in here. Sorry, I really don't know how much of this you're actually hearing. But he's actually pretty cool in here. So yeah, this is literally what the suites at O2 Arena look like. But yeah, they're really, really cool. And I think Nicki Minaj is going to come on really, really soon. So I'm going to go sit back down. As you can probably tell now, I am actually home. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet, but I mean, half my household is probably asleep by now, seeing as I am actually filming this on a Monday night. I know you're not going to watch this until Wednesday, but I mean, I actually filmed this on Monday night, really. Just a bit of useless information for you, but yeah, as you can tell, I am actually home now. Nicki Minaj was literally is so good. I'm not going to lie. To be honest with you, when I was like saying earlier that I was going to like Nicki Minaj and I was thinking, oh my God, do I actually know that many of like her songs? Because most of the songs of hers that I do actually know is basically just like her like rapping and stuff in songs. So I wasn't really sure if I was going to really know any of them. But I mean, I thought it would be a good night nonetheless. And oh my God, it actually was. She actually did quite a lot of like the old songs that she did. So it was actually really good because it wasn't just like, like new songs that she's kind of brought I mean she did actually rap quite a bit of like the songs that she's like in but she was just basically rapping like the verses that she did and then she like go on to another song but it was actually really really good nonetheless she did actually get quite a few clips which I'm sure have been included if they kind of saved and come out all right but yes I do really hope you enjoyed watching those and to be honest with you I still can't believe I actually got to go into a suite which was actually so so good I mean it was the first time that I'd ever been in one in my whole life and oh my god it was actually really really good and as you can probably tell, I did actually have a really, really good time. I tried to, like, show you around. I don't really know if that come out good or not as well. I don't really know until I look back at this tomorrow. But, I mean, hopefully you can kind of see what a kind of sweet box kind of thing looks like at the Ota Arena. And as well, TGI's was actually really good. It did really fill me up. And then, obviously, we went into the Slug and Lettuce, as you saw, just for a few drinks before we went into the concert. Because we did actually get to the O2 quite early. And, I mean, it was pointless just, like, going up to the box. And once you get through, like, behind the O2, it's basically, like, the drinks at the bars are more expensive. So, so I mean you might as well just have a few before you go through so that's literally what we did but yeah it was literally so so good I'm so pleased
days that I went. If I'm honest, I'm not like a diehard Nicki Minaj fan or anything like that. If you ever do want to go and see a Nicki Minaj like concert, then do just know that she plays like a lot of old songs as well as like so, like she plays like Starship and like Anaconda and, and all kind of like songs that are old as well. So I mean, you probably will know a few of them even if you. Even if you're just like not a bit of a diehard fan like I'm not. But you know, it wasn't under good nonetheless. And like I said, if you're not a diehard fan, then I mean, it'd still go because I mean, it's still a really, really good night. I mean, everyone's just up dancing, having a good time, really. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I would 100% recommend. Sorry that this vlog's probably been a little bit short. I know I've said that in quite a few vlogs lately, but I do know that I didn't actually vlog that much tonight. So I do know that this vlog is probably going to be a little bit shorter than the rest of them. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, guys. But yeah, I suppose that is the end of today's vlog. I mean, I really do hope that you enjoyed watching this nonetheless. If you did, please give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. But yeah, until next time, guys. See ya!